Hey guys, it's Lucky Girl B, and I am playing The Sims 4. And it's been a while since I played The Sims 4. You guys know I do not care for The Sims 4. I am not impressed with The Sims 4. However, a new update came out the other day, and now we have toddlers. It only took two years to get them, but we got them. So I guess I'm thankful. Many people have hit me up and was like, ooh, the Sims 4 toddlers are here. Aren't you excited? It's like Christmas. I'm like, yup, if Christmas came two years late. Mm-hmm. Yup. You know, but I am impressed that they didn't make us pay for the toddlers because that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought they was going to come out with, like, a Generations expansion pack, and they'd be like, oh, and toddlers, and make you pay, like, $30, $40 for toddlers. I'm glad it was free. So, I already have my sim. This is the same sim I used for my very first Sims 4 Let's Play. I haven't tweaked her face or anything. I just changed her hair. So, from what I hear, I don't even have to go through the whole motions of having a baby. I should just be able to make a baby. Look at that. Okay, so, here's toddler. So, automatically, they're like, have a child. See, they don't want you to have the toddler. I, I feel it, though. They're like, well, who would the father be? Um, the father gonna be anonymous. They ain't no daddy. Oh my god, so that's my son. You know what? I can't imagine that's probably what my son looked like. Look at his chubby little belly. He is chubby and cute. So we're gonna have a son. I can have random son. Really, his outfit just changed. Which to be honest, like I don't feel like making an outfit. This is kind of nice. Oh, look at that hair! I like that hair. Can he be a girl then? Oh my, go oh my goodness, but I don't like, I didn't like the outfit though. But that's cute though, cause I'm gonna have a girl too. But give my baby some hair though. I know babies don't have a lot of hair. Well, some babies don't have a lot of hair, but you gotta give my baby some hair. They giving me like these hipster babies. But as you can see, there's lots of outfits. This is how, you know, life is gonna be in the future, right? Like, you gonna be like, no, this is exactly how I want my baby. That baby came out with red hair. How adorable is that? I kind of like her outfit, too. Let's keep this one. We just going to change the hair color and make it black because that's a little... She's doing too much right now. But we're going to make another baby. I'm going to have two toddlers. Randomize a brother. Yes. Not with that hat, though, son. That hair is so adorable to me, though. Like, that was the screenshot that did it for me. That screenshot was like... Okay, I messed with the toddlers because I saw, like, it looked like little brown girls with, like, wavy black hair. And I was like, that's what I need in my life. So I like that. Can I go back to ones I saw before? Cause I think I'll keep this one. I got to get them names and stuff, though, right? Um... So, where do I name? Up here, right? So, let's do a random. Regan, Brienne. I kind of liked Brienne. Eva, I don't know. Annalise? Annalise? Yes! Annalise Keaton. Yes! Annalise Girl B. I like that. So, now we got to name my son. We got to give them traits and all that, too. Rick. Cash? I like Cash. Tom, Zachariah, Billy. I like that Cash, but I'm going to name it with a K. I feel like if I had a son, he'd be a little charmer. And if I had a little girl, I feel like she will just be angelic. Look at that. That's my babies. That's my babies. Should I go ahead and have a third one? I feel like maybe I'm being too much because I'm a single mother, so that might be a little bit too hard. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any new traits that will help me with the babies. I don't see anything else that will help me with babies. The only thing that's Helpful is family oriented, which means that, you know, I like my kids, but that's it though. So I guess this is the family that we're moving in. Oh, that screenshot is cute for the babies. I like that. I'm, I'm going to cheat and give her some money too. I don't think I have my cheeks on though. Will Mother Low work without cheeks? Cause I haven't tried that in a while. Yes, it does. There we go. So this for sure is a toilet room because I've never seen this room before. So let's get it in pink. Or is that, technically that's red. Ooh, that's, that looks more like a girl's room. Like, I'm not trying to be like, I don't know how you say it, but I'm not trying to be like stereotypical. 
But like, that's a nice room for a little girl. That one looks a lot more like a boy's room to me. Let's put that there, I suppose. Okay, so now the house is finally built and we are uh, ready to move in so our front door is all the way over here now which is fine I think for someone who did not give a damn how anything turned out or if anything matched I think this house looks nice number one I will say that I enjoy the fact that this is a toddler's bed the um, toddlers don't have to sleep in cribs because I know plenty of toddlers who sleep in beds but I don't know if they can sleep in, like, regular beds. Like, are toddler beds the only bed they can sleep in? Like, is, can a child, like, can she sleep in here? She can sit on it. She can't sleep in it. Or or can a toddler, like, sleep in here? You know what I mean? I don't know. Toddlers can only sleep in toddler beds. Okay, so that's something I, I n did not know, and now I do. So, number one, let's see how our baby feeling. We, our hygiene, why is our hygiene bad? We just came to life. We don't got time to worry about that because we got to take care of the babies. The babies seem like they're fine. They don't seem like they need anything. But babies need to learn skills. So let's go back into build mode real quick. So this is kids. So I need like toddler shit, okay? So I'm just trying to figure out now what are things that toddler needs. Number one, that is a huge dollhouse. But I'm going to buy it. It's huge though. I mean, I don't know if my kids need that, but if they want it, they can have it. So I think we're going to put a potty, like, outside the kids' room, pretty much. So we're going to start potty training our kids. Also, that's how you do it. Okay. So have they changed, like, the way potty training works? Like, can you put your kid on the potty and leave them? She, she's like, let's potty. She already trying to walk a little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at Annalise. She just turned her head like, huh? Where we going? We leaving my baby on the sidewalk though. That's not cool. Wait. Okay. So we need her to go play with some toys then. Buy toys. What's that? Play with toy. Oh, there's lots of toys. Okay. Tentacle Tom? Nah, that sounds like something out of some hentai. Let's play with the butterfly thingy. Oh, oh, baby. So she's already walking. She's, she's stumbling a bit, but she is walking though. Now I wonder, will she ever fall? And if you have a baby right away and she starts trying to like get up there, will she learn more? I don't know. And with her little boogity boo, it's gonna take a little while, but we're potty training our son. Uh, Apparently, we have to stay with him while he potties. We don't have like the option of like leaving him alone. 
while he pee and poo. Like, he's looking back there. He's like, what's coming out of me? Which is adorable. Yeah, that's your poo, baby. That's your poo. Yep, you making a stinky. <laughs> Where's my baby girl at? She She's still walking. My, my lord. I'm, I'm sure that this is helping her learn how to walk, though, right? Ooh, okay. She all right, though. So do I not have to, like, teach her how to walk? Put the bed, check toddler, more choices. Toddler care. Change out, give food, which requires a hive chair. Give drink, hive chair. You can't feed the baby without, um... A high chair now? I can't feed my baby on the floor? And what, and, and, uh, what? Cool. So, okay, now I have to have a bathtub. I can't just change the baby's diaper. Okay. So now I gotta buy more stuff. Babies is expensive. This is why I'm hesitant about having children in real life. Children are so expensive. Ugh. I'm glad I bought a big bathroom then. So now we got that. We need to go back to the kids stuff and get these um high chairs now. Or the, the children are gonna starve, apparently. Oh shoot, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I ain't build a kitchen. <laughs> oh shoot. I'm gonna have to go do that now. Dang it, I'm gonna have to build a kitchen now. See how children ruin your life? <laughs> How I forget a kitchen though. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, that's a that's a good kitchen. And then I'll put the high chairs in here like like so, just like so. I gotta get another one though. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe her got a kitchen. Cause maybe I didn't intend for them to live that long, which is cruel, but maybe slightly true. So baby girl Annalise finally made it into the room. She's about to play with some toys. She can barely open a thing, but she got the butterfly. Oh, she put it in her pocket. She got an imagination skill. Okay. We're still pottying. Are we gonna potty him some more or no? Nah? I don't want to bother Annalise because she just got to the toy. You know what I mean? No, we're not going to talk to Annalise right now. We're going to pie train our son. We're going to pie train our son. Why does she walk away? There we go. She's playing with the toy. She she seems slightly confused. Playing? She can play in the books? Look at a book. She needs imagination skill, too. Okay, book help. Well, can't she get her own book? She just said play in it. Oh, that's the clothes changing station? Oh, snap. Look at that. When are we going to be able to buy clothes again? We haven't been able to buy clothes in Sims 2, and I'm sad. I like buying clothes. She can play with a tablet. Look at that. Watch toddler videos. Play Sim Shape. Draw with Llama. Disable toddler apps. Dang. Like... They don't even want the kids playing. Let's play Sim Shape. She needs to, like, learn, like, useful skills. Oh, something stinky going on. You know what? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. So I want him to go play with some toys. Can he put himself to bed? He can put himself to bed. That's awesome. I don't have to lift him up and put him in there. Look, there's nighty night. Sleep, nap, sit, and bedtime. I don't know what the difference between night night and bedtime is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is she ripping that up? Oh, hell no, hell no, hell no. Oh, hell no, hell no. Hell no. I, when, I, when I said play, I didn't mean rip up the books I bought you. What? I got bad children, bad children. You better go watch, um, you better go draw, draw with Llama. Now, can I see what she's playing? Once again, you guys, this is the future. Your baby just playing on a tablet, and then your child playing on the Xbox, and then your teenager playing on a computer, and then a grown adult just watching TV. That's that's what life comes down to. Your face stuck on a screen, just like I live my life every day. And I'm not mad. Why is he sad? 
He's sad. He's crying because he's sad. Why is he sad? Why could he act from using the pot? Oh, he had an accident. Oh no, I, I don't want that for him. I don't want him to be sad. Well, maybe the toys will make him happy. So she's been playing her little game for a while. Let's do some potty training with her. So we don't have to teach the kids how to like talk, yell at. I don't want to yell at her. That seems counterproductive. More toddler care. So now I can actually feed my kids and give them baths and give them something to drink, change their outfits. Oh, there's some pre-made outfits. Oh no, these must be her other, cause I only did like the one outfit. They're, okay, babies can't swim, that's understandable. Wait, isn't there toddler swimwear in The Sims 3? I think there is. Don't quote me though. They don't have athletic, which is reasonable, okay. Don't you dare throw that. That tablet probably like $300. Don't you dare throw it on the floor. Did she take a shower? She did take a shower. I had to make sure. Because mommy needs some alone time. Mommy going to need a glass of wine after this. Like, I'm going to need a glass of wine after this. Like, children are stressful. He's having fun with his toys, though, but he's still sad. Ask Lucky for a drink. Number one, you should say ask mommy for a drink. Because you're doing too much. So we're going to try potty training Annalise. Play dolls in the dollhouse. Okay, she could do that. So we're going to potty train her for a little bit now. We're going to get Annalise to make a poopy. <laughs> Annalise kind of look bored while she poo, though. She kind of like, oh, like, it's all coming out. I still got my leggings on, Mommy. Don't worry, honey. It's fine. Like, I really wish I could leave her on the potty and then go, like, pop me a bottle of mimosa. But I can't get away from them right now. I don't have a bar in my house, though, do I? That's another thing I forgot, because I need a mimosa. Is there just alcohol in the fridge for me? Grab a drink. Oh, no. I, I, mommy needs a drink, not the kids. Grab food for, yeah. Yeah, is there a drink in here? No, I need a bar. Let me go buy a bar. Mommy, listen, I'm all about mommies and mimosas. I need a bar. I'm sorry. I just think good parents drink wine because it makes you feel more relaxed. But I'm having trouble finding a bar. I need an in-home bar. Here we go. I put it right outside the kids' room. So, like, while the kids are playing, I can make a drink. And the kids won't even notice. They're just like, Mommy's, you know, having adult fun time. Or make a drink. Make favorite drink. I have a favorite drink. Whatever my favorite drink is, I'm going to go make it for sure. I'm just going to stop with the potty. Because she now now that she's, like, gotten on the... Also, I can leave her. I don't have to stay with her when she potties then. Can she, like, do stuff on the potty? Wander, nap on ground, babble to self? She made, like, a poopy. She made, like, a fart. You heard that? She farted. <laughs> That's so cute. Now she's sad because she had accident. Potty help? Go potty. She wants potty help. I guess she's going to ask her mommy, like, take me to the potty or something. Well, I think the kids need to go back to watching their videos. Uh, I'm going to grab this drink. I'm uncomfortable for what? Bad potty guidance. Wait, so I feel bad now because my baby pooped themselves and had a little accident? Like, that happens, though. Why do I feel bad about it? Ooh. See, this is why I need a drink. Try to make me feel like a bad parent for no reason. Oh, now my baby want to talk to me. Okay. But she's on the um on the thing. We can't talk to her. Don't bother her while she's doing that. If anything, oh, finish your drink. And then, like, can we make the kids food or can you only just grab food for them? Animal crackers, applesauce, so they can't eat, like, adult food, like, cut up into little pieces. PB&J. So, like, if I made, like, a whole plate of PB&Js, can I give one to my child? Let's see if that's a thing. Have, no, serve lunch. Oh, can a baby have a grilled cheese sandwich? Let's find out if baby can have grilled cheese. Grilled cheese don't seem to be on the list. So, I'm going to give my babies, um... 
some animal crackers. I'm gonna get them both uh, animal crackers. So they need to stop playing on these tablets. So then you can feed babies outside the high chair then, correct? So I didn't actually need a high chair then? I don't know. Cause they made me feel like I had to have a high chair to feed my kids. Oh, you do. She putting it in the high chair and I guess now she's gonna go grab the baby. No, I have to put the baby in the high chair. Where is she go? Is she going to go get the baby now? So why did she go back into the kitchen? I need another mimosa. You know what? My son needs to make my life a little bit easier. He needs to start waddling over to um to the kitchen. There we go. Have him start walking to the kitchen. My son looks so unsure. To be honest, me as a mother, this would probably be me. We both look sad. This mother, this mothering thing is harder than it looks. Oh, she has to pee. That's why she waddling. My son already halfway to the kitchen. Now eat your crackers, baby. You better not make a mess in it. There we go, baby. She still looks sad. She's like her little face is whimpering in between eating the crackers. Look, you see her? She even sad sometimes while eating the crackers. That makes me sad. She'll get over it soon though, right? She needs to go to the bathroom. Where's the closest? This is the closest bathroom. Come on, go to the bathroom. They're fine up there. Oh, and I can just move that away when we're done. We'll give her a drink. They're talking to each other? Okay, we'll give her a little water, milk, apple juice. Um, You know what? She just had something sweet. And it was cutting animal crackers. Animal crackers are dry. I still eat animal crackers. Especially the ones with, like, the sprinkles and the frosting. Like, the pink frosting. Not the white frosting. The pink one with the little dot sprinkles. Those are good. So, she need, like, something that's going to wash it down. She needs some milk. So they both done with their crackers. So we get them both some milk. And then we got to clean up these dishes. I'm glad I didn't give them nothing like applesauce because they would have made messes. I wonder if they was close enough to touch each other where they start fighting each other in them high chairs. Because that's what kids do, don't they? They fight each other. I don't know. I'm an only child. I was very selfish. But if anyone else came around me, i hit them. Yeah. What's wrong with her? She's acting weird. The, okay, the milk came out of nowhere. Wait, I didn't give her milk? Why not? Is it because the way that it's placed or something? Okay, wait a minute. What am I doing? There was that many dishes around this house? I bought... Wait, why are we washing them over there, though? I'm doing too much. Lucky, you're doing too much. You still look good in that outfit, though. How come I didn't give her milk, though? There we go, because we should give her milk the first time. She, she crying. Drink the milk. You'll feel better, honey. You know what? She crying. I got to eat now. Okay, we talking. She talking about grilled cheeses, but I don't think I can give her grilled cheese. You know what? I need to grab my own food now. I need food. I need to grab, like, some chips or something. Did she even drink her milk? Can we put it on the floor? Okay, we can put it on the floor. Can she drink it on the floor? Drink your milk on the floor? There we go. My kids are miserable. He's angry. From eating dessert sugar now? So now he wants sugar. That's why he's so angry. Now I had to put my chips on the floor? Oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all cranky. That's what it is. Y'all is cranky. And I'm not having that. Heck no. Y'all taking a nap. Right now, y'all about to go take a nap. I'm going to take my son, put him in bed. I'm going to read him to sleep, though. I'm going to read him to sleep. And then um, I'm going to um, put her to bed, and then I'm going to read her a story. I'm, I'm going to read these kids a bedtime story. It's going to be called CPS, What Happens to Naughty Kids. 
I'm, I'm gonna tell you, they're gonna shut all that shit up immediately. Let's get him. Oh, that was cute, though. That was cute. He wear glasses to bed. Ooh, I guess Undead Domain really is his daddy. He still have a little attitude, though. <laughs> you look cute with them glasses, though. So, okay, yeah, we're reading the story about Dragon. Oh, this is Game of Thrones? I think that, that that's not child-friendly. Game of Thrones. Khaleesi and them? Nah. Jon Snow? Okay. Did she already stop reading the story? He already sleep? Let's see if his eyes get drowsy, because they kind of look like his eyelids are, like, getting heavy. He's asleep. Okay, cool. That didn't take long at all. Okay. See, that's how you knew he already needed a nap, because he was so dang cranky. So, yep, it's time to put your little booty in bed, honey. Because y'all was both being naughty. They both have glasses. These are undead kids then. So, okay, we sitting on this side of the bed now. So, you can sit on either side of the bed, not just one side of the bed. You need to enter. That's nice to know. So, I suppose that if, if the bed was against the wall, you'd be able to read that story no matter what. So, that's cool. So, reading about cakes and dragons and all that. Their eyelids are getting heavy. She asleep. Okay, cool. So now mommy can go back to enjoying her chips and her drink. We need we need the drink. That's number one. Make favorite drink. See, the kids are asleep now, but they made a mess. You need to put their tablet back on the dresser. And mommy gonna have herself another mimosa. Oh, wait, that's just water? My favorite drink is water. Oh, hell no. We, we gotta make some good drinks. I need a sweet and spicy. That's what I need. Some chips and a sweet and spicy. We can take the chips um with us. Chips, chips and drinks are delicious. I lost ten dollars by making a fancy drink. Okay, whatever. Kids are asleep. Now it's time for mommy to have some fun. There we go. Yes. And and eat the chips. To yes, yes, yes. Stir it, stir it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to eat these chips and drink these drinks. Don't forget to drink now. That, That's right. That should be the screenshot right there. Because that makes me feel really good right now. Mm-hmm. See, I look happy as hell now. Got my drink. Got my chips. Life is good. Mm-hmm. See, a, a good day of mothering. So, from what I can tell right now... I do like the toddlers, but I don't feel like, oh my God, it was it was so worth the wait that the toddlers are finally here. I'm going to do a little pro and con list here while my lucky girl B finishes her drink and whatnot. And these kids are napping. So things I like about The Sims 3 with the toddlers. I like these new toddler beds. Like, I was kind of hoping that the toddlers would be able to have a regular, like, twin-size bed that a child or a teenager or an adult can use. But it does make sense that toddlers will have their own, like, little bed, you know? That does make sense. And the fact that they can crawl into the bed themselves is a definite, definite plus. You can read them to sleep as well. They're not confined to, like, that crying and shaking the, uh, the bars to get out of the bed, so that's a plus. Um, the potty training, I, I didn't like how the kids' mood went down because they had accidents, so they actually felt bad about it. I feel like in real life, when toddlers poop on themselves, they do not care because mommy or daddy is going to clean it up. They, in fact, I've seen babies laugh while they pee and poop all over their parents. They, they think it's hilarious to fart sometimes, too. I don't know how many times I've been around a baby and they farted and it just burst it out laughing, like gut buster type laughs. I like the fact that the toddlers can use the tablets. Uh, it seems like if they get to enough skills, they can read books for themselves. Um, I think that's cool. I haven't tested the mirror stuff out, but I feel like change plan outfit, change sim and all kind of stuff. That's all pretty much the same. I'm going to kind of miss, like, the changing their diaper, them having to take a bath, which we'll probably get them a bath in a few minutes or so. 
Um, I, I, I don't mind giving them a bath. I just also miss the diapers because babies do wear diapers. So, you know what I mean? No change in the baby diapers. Maybe there that is there. I just haven't seen it yet, though. But uh, it seems like they're able to use a few or maybe all, who knows, of the toys that are already in the game. It's not like, you know, things are just, oh, look, look at me just voluntarily putting things away. Look at that. That's cute. I'm putting all their toys in their stuff. Okay. So I guess she's going to clean up or something. So, yeah, I think overall toddlers are a great addition to the game because I felt from the very beginning that they were something that was necessary. It's a life state that I missed. Um, I do have to say, however, not only am I disappointed that it did take this long to finally get toddlers in the game, I'm disappointed that after years, literally two and change years of waiting, and the teens basically being like, we can't do it right now, as if when they did finally do it, it was gonna be something so amazing and revolutionary as far as the Sims franchise go. It's kind of basic. It's kind of things that, yeah, we were asking for, but at the same time, it's like, if you already had this laundry list of things we were asking for, even from the Sims 3 and Sims 2 days, and then you already had the Sims 4 engine going for this long, why did it take so long to put all this into the game? But that's me. I'm a pessimist. My glass <laughs> remains half empty. You know what I mean? So I guess I can't, you know, like, imagine myself, like, being 100% happy with this. Now, with all that said, do I think this is going to breathe brand new life into The Sims 4? Yes. Yes, I do. I definitely think that this is going to uh, bring people back to The Sims 4. However... When I say bring back people to Sins 4, I think it will bring back the people who already love the Sins 4 or like the Sins 4 or who are on the fence about the Sins 4. I, I feel like those people will be like, yes, finally, the toddlers, this is going to make me want to pick up my dusty game that I haven't touched in months again and then they'll play that for a few months and maybe they'll continue to play and love it like they, like they do or did. For me, I'm somebody who wasn't 100% on board with The Sims 4 after the initial demo. Because the only thing I was impressed with, really, was uh, the creative Sims stuff. So, can I get another baby in this bathtub? Because that would be cool. Two babies in a bathtub? Can I get two babies in a bathtub? Because technically, it looks like there's room for two babies. Nope, only one baby at a time gets bathed. But you know what? Um, he's he's clean enough, so that worked. We didn't have to give him a whole bath, and now he's happy from bath time. So I'll let him go back to playing with his toys. But yeah, for someone like me, who I wasn't on the fence, I was just like, no, I just don't really care for Sims Four. Does this make me want to like start brand new let's plays just for the sake of now playing with these babies? No, not really. Um, I'm playing this because you know. It was something new, and I wanted to see if it was, you know, as good as everyone was going on about, and people seemed very happy about it. Me, like, nah. I mean, I like it. I think it's, it, to me, it just feels like it's something that was missing that should have always been there. And since I've been playing The Sims 3 constantly, I wasn't missing toddlers because I never play without them. So I felt fine. But, you know, I think the toddlers are adorable. I think their beds are adorable. I feel like their new little animations and interactions are cute. Um, this particular baby with her hair, I love her. I even like the walking. The walking, the, like, uneasiness of their walking is adorable. I wish they would kind of fall down a little bit. Because babies fall when they... Wait, where the hell is she going? Annalise, look, look at this. I done went to sleep because I have my chips and my drink, so I'm tired because I've been drinking. So I fell asleep, and now my baby is just wandering into the here yonder at 1 a.m. in the morning. And my son is playing with his tablet outside. I don't even know how he got outside. I think he glitched through a wall because that shouldn't have happened. 
But I think this is where I'm gonna stop it, you guys. My children are trying to run away and I passed out drinking. This is what happens when you're a wine mom. So I'm gonna stop it here, you guys. But um, I did enjoy playing The Sims 4 with toddlers. But as I said, it's something that was missing that should have been there from the very beginning. So I'm happy it's finally there. I'm happy it's finally there. Does it make me wanna now go and play The Sims 4? on a regular basis? No. Nope. Sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys want me to play more The Sims 4. I just can't. I'm sorry. I do, um, however, um, I'm still debating if I'm gonna get the vampires. Cause I think you have to buy vampires, right? You have to buy that. That's a game pack, right? Let me, let me look this up. Oh, it's coming January 24th. Okay, so it's not out yet. It's a game pack. So, game packs you pay for. So, I don't know how much the Sin 4 Vampire Game Pack is going to cost. I'm probably going to watch some reviews of it before um, I buy it myself or decide to buy it. So, I might do something with the vampires. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. But, um, I, I did enjoy myself with the toddlers. I'm, I'm slightly embarrassed that my Sin passed out drunk. Um, only slightly. Because I just feel like... This is what most mothers do. They just won't tell you about it, though. You know, sometimes they slip. They tired. You know, but anyway, I had a good time. I hope you guys did, too. This is Lucky Girl B, and I'll see you later. Bye.